Hi, welcome to theCUBE. I'm your host, Lisa Martin, and tonight we are on the ground at Google with CloudNow, which is a great nonprofit organization founded by women, supporting women who are innovators in cloud computing and converging technologies. We're here tonight with CloudNow because it's their fifth annual Top Women in Cloud Innovation Awards event, and we're very fortunate to be joined by one of the award winners, Monique Morrow, CTO of New Frontiers Engineering at Cisco. Monique, welcome to theCUBE. Well, it's a pleasure to be welcome here. Welcome back, I should say. Yes, I know it you're is. an alumna. Yes. So talk to us about your um, what you're doing with Cisco that is clearly award-winning and being recognized by CloudNow tonight. All right. Well, first of all, my day job is around looking at the intersectionality between new technology, economics, and research to something that could be new portfolio uh, for the company. But why I'm here tonight is because of something that is so passionate for a group of us in the industry, and that is providing identity to 1.5 billion people wow. who do not have it, and it's identity as a service wow. through the eyes of a refugee. Uh, and so this is really the, the work that is nascent and in progress, and I, I'm very, very excited and passionate about this work and the potential to change the world, and I mean that, the potential to change the world in this space. That's incredible, and that's really kind of the spirit of the Cloud Now Awards, is, is female leaders who are doing incredible things to impact the community, and what an incredible thing that you're leading. I'd love to understand from your perspective, your, I know you're based in Switzerland, um, yes. What has your career path been to get to become a female CTO? Did you know when you were a kid that's what you wanted to do or was it sort of this sort of path? It was very zigzaggy. I mean, zigzag. I would say I'm a, an accidental engineer. I've always been curious about that. technology. Yeah. Uh, in fact, at age six, um, I had a chemistry set and I ended up burning almost the kitchen. Wow. Um, but my, you know, my, my parents actually encouraged me to, to go through technology. Uh, I ended up having the love for it and being encouraged by men to say, you can do something in this field, even though I have a, a very eclectic educational background. I have an undergraduate in French and geography. French and geography? Went off to get wow. a, a Master of Science degree in information technology and or telecommunications management, and the rest is history. Wow. I just loved it. But it sounds like you had support really kind of from the beginning. I, I which did. Which is so key. I did, I did. I had uh, not only family support, but I had tremendous, and I have to say this, because I know this is celebrating women in cloud computing, but it's also had tremendous mentors and coaches and men. Absolutely. Uh, and because I think it's really, really important to have men in the conversation, and they were really encouraged me uh, to actually pursue this, the direction in this career. I will tell you this, your career, my career, and I believe other folks' career will be very, very zigzaggy. It's not going to be a linear and uh, with that is uh, total excitement and on what we can do. And I think having the power to be able to work collaboratively with people in the industry to change things is really what excites me about technology and particularly cloud. Fantastic, and I'm sure you would you look back at your career, you wouldn't change a thing. I do, we only have a couple minutes left, but I know that you just wrote and published a book that's on Amazon, The Internet of Women. Can you share with us in just a couple of minutes what that's all about? It sounds fantastic. Sure, I co-edited a book amongst, uh, along with three other co-editors called okay. The Internet of Women, Accelerating Culture Change. It was just published on September 9th of 2016, this past year, and it's about um, narratives of, of wonderful women in 30 countries, including social scientists, about these women not only creating technology, but also looking at technologies to, to uh, develop new, new entrepreneurial um, opportunities. And it, it, the narratives are designed to inspire, and when, in, including in this book, are uh, men who are behind women, because behind every powerful woman, could be a man. Absolutely. And so, um, you know, we're very, very excited about the, the impact that this book has, rather than just talking about dire statistics. We believe women are doing fantastic things globally throughout the world. Absolutely, and I'm glad that you brought that up. It, you know, kind of last thing here is that there are a lot of statistics about women in technology, women in sciences, but what I love that you've said co-edited, thank you for correcting me on that, is these are narratives that are designed to be inspirational. That's and great. I have to say, I find you very inspirational. Congratulations on Thank the you. award. Can't wait to see what you do and the massive impact that you it's make. It's been a great pleasure. Thank Monique, you very thank much. Thank you for joining us and thank you for watching theCUBE. If you also have a rock star uh, female technology leader like Monique that you think should be filmed in our Palo Alto studios, tweet us 
at theCUBE. Use the hashtag WomenInTech. I'm Lisa Martin. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.